Hey y'all, this is Zach with Meals Under Pressure. All right, it is 2023 and I am gonna start stepping just a little bit out of my Southern comfort zone. So tonight I'm gonna make y'all something I've never made before. This is actually gonna be a test recipe, even though I've done a lot of research. Um, I'm gonna make some kielbasa sausage with sauerkraut. Never made this before, but I think it's gonna be good. All right, so I went ahead and got, I got two pounds of this, this I think it's Polish, kielbasa sausage. I'm gonna cut it into about half inch to inch, inch rounds. Um, I've got some of these little potatoes. they call called nibbles, like little red potatoes. I'm gonna cut those in half because I want part of that exposed potato, I want that browned in the, in the, in the grease. I've got an onion. I've got sauerkraut. I've never in my life cooked with this before, but it's gonna be good. I'm gonna cut it with a little bit of apple juice and salt and pepper, and that's it. So let me go ahead and get started cutting everything down and we'll be back. All right, so I've got my kielbasa sausage cut up to about inch, little inch pieces. All right, I turned my saute function on. I'm gonna add a little olive oil. About maybe a tablespoon or less. And the sausage is going in. I'm gonna brown those for about maybe five minutes. We'll take them out and then we'll, we'll add potatoes. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, so we browned our sausage for about five minutes and took it out. I'm gonna add the potatoes and I cut the potatoes in half because I want that exposed side at least as much as I can. I want it, I want it brown too. So a little bit brown, not dark brown, but a little bit brown. So I'm gonna mix that in there, mix the potatoes in there. I'm gonna let them cook in those good sausage drippers for about maybe four or five minutes. Uh, I am gonna add a little salt and pepper, not too much. And then we'll show the next step. All right, so we browned our potatoes about four or five minutes. I went ahead and turned the salty function off. Now, Andrew, I got a quarter cup of apple juice, quarter cup. Now, some of the recipes that I looked at online, they add apples. I didn't want to add apples. I don't like apples in my food, but I figured this apple juice would kind of give that sauerkraut just a little bit of sweetness and subtlety. Is that what you say? So, subtlety? Yeah. So, when you add your apple juice in there, go ahead and take the opportunity to scrape all the brown bits and off the uh, off the bottom because you don't want to get the uh, you don't want to get a burn notice. So that's coming off real easy. All right. So, got my apple juice in there. My quarter cup of apple juice. I cut my onions up in these these longer pieces, and I don't ask me why. Uh, I just thought it'd be better. So anyway, those are going in there. Now my sauerkraut. Some people called for draining and rinsing this sauerkraut. There were several different uh, recipes. I decided not to. I want to add it in there with the liquid. Not only do I, do I want the liquid in there because of the uh, the pressure cooking function but I want to give it that that strong that strong taste so get that spread and over the onions and the potatoes and I'll add my sausage back in so I'm gonna wait until last till the end to add my salt and pepper uh, to see how this tastes and then I'll, I'll add the salt and pepper to taste so go ahead and take your your lid sealed position uh, pressure cook or manual button and we are going to drop the time down we're going to do five minutes so we'll see how when we're done we'll see how it turned out All right, so kicked it for five minutes under pressure. I uh, did a quick release. I'm telling you folks, for a southern boy, this is pretty good food. I uh, really like the way this turned out. Uh, the onions were really tender. The potatoes were really tender. Uh, I like the way the apple juice kind of subdued the, a little bit of the, the sourness of the sauerkraut, but not too much. Sausage is great. The only thing I do different next time is I would not add the sausage um, while the pressure cooked. I'd add them 
mix them in after, but that's just me. Um, really good. I didn't add any salt or, uh, or pepper to this. Now, one thing I wanted to, I forgot to tell you, this little jar of um, sauerkraut was 25 ounces. It was a 25 ounce jar. So, all right, so if you like this video, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, also, we have a Facebook group page called Meals Under Pressure. And if not, we're going to get to eating, and we will see you all next time.